What's up everyone, this is Irfan and today I will discuss or cover the roadmap to get into the cyber security domain. This is the most common question that people generally ask. Instead of replying to each question individually, I have decided to create this video. So how to get into cyber security? Frankly speaking, there isn't a definite path or a definite answer to this question. The roadmap, the path, or the steps depend on your current skills, knowledge, and expertise. For example, you may want to get into cybersecurity with zero knowledge and experience, consider a beginner, or maybe you want to transit into cybersecurity from other IT relevant job, or maybe you want to come into cybersecurity uh, with the marketing background, management background, or from non-IT related experience. Regardless of your background, you must understand and must have some essential skills to get into cybersecurity. Having said that, you can get these skills by learning online, by studying online on your own through self-paced training programs, or even you may learn all these concepts in your college. In this video, I will not endorse any certificate or educational body. However, I will focus on the content that is available for free. So either learn from uh, or by using the free resources available online or pay a premium fee to get all these concepts and resources in an organized format. The first step is to understand computing, programming, and networking. You can skip this step if you are coming from an IT background or have studied all these things or all these concepts in your college. However, do not skip if you are coming from a non-IT background or even if you are coming from IT background, I suggest that you should get some more skills, some more knowledge or just revise all the key concepts of computing. Some people make mistakes and they skip this very crucial step. Consider a script kiddie who only runs the script without understanding it. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. It is more than the script query. If you want to have a proper career, a proper defined cybersecurity career, then you must understand what is happening what a particular tool, how a particular tool is working. You must understand the concept behind it. So in order to get the pro or in order to get into the cyber security or in order to learn all these things, or if you want to have a career, then learn these core skills or core concepts. To summarize, you must understand how a computer works, an operating system, how an operating system interacts with hardware and what are the different operating systems out there, such as Linux, Android, Windows, Mac, and the list goes on. You must also know a programming language and a scripting languages. Although being an expert in programming is not required to get into cybersecurity, some cybersecurity jobs do not need programming skills at all but getting some fundamental concepts will eventually help you. Or maybe you want to become an expert developer. Then you will be needing hardcore programming skills. In the first step, you must also judge your interest. What do you want to do? What do you want to, bec to become? What career you want uh, to get into? Because it's in cybersecurity, there are so many things to do. You may want to become a cyber defender. You may want to get into network pen testing. You may want to get into mobile application security, cryptography, cloud security. Uh, you know, even you may want to get into the policy side. You may want to get into compliance side. You may want to get into, you know, management side and the list goes on. So this is the very first step. In the first step, you should also judge yourself. What do you want to do? Because the latter stages or latter steps or the or the most crucial steps of this roadmap depends on what do you want to do or what do you want to become. The cybersecurity horizon is so big. Think of cloud security, IT and OT security, critical infrastructure cybersecurity, and the list goes on. 
no matter what do you choose no matter what do you want to become no matter what which domain you want to get into cyber security you must have these core skills and concepts you must understand these core concepts again computing programming and networking how can i forget the networking you must understand how data travels what are the different protocols out there understand how dns ipsec and other routing protocols work you must also uh, understand the different uh, you know uh, protocols such as ftp http https and and so on and as i said you can learn most of the concepts online for free use google search i have i've given you the list of questions i've i've given you the list of topics just use the google search you will get tons of content online for free organized content for free you can even um, use wikipedia you can use there are several books out there and edx coursera and youtube youtube is 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 a very decent platform you will find tons of uh, channels where you can uh, you know read or where you can learn from where you can learn all these concepts or even if you want you can do the comptia a plus again not endorsing any certificate just an option no matter which source of study you pick just learn now moving forward to the step number 2 after building the foundation or getting the foundational skills you must directly learn the cyber security concepts several certifications cover cyber security concepts and also talk about various cyber security domains if you haven't decided your career path yet then after getting some general and basic cyber security certificate you will get to know about various domains of cyber security and then of course you will be able to decide your career path again i am not endorsing any certificate what you can do you can simply open the outline or the curriculum of a certificate pick the topic use the google search free resources you can learn all these things online for free however hr needs the certificate so you may want to get some comptia security plus isc square certified in cyber security and icip by opsword are some excellent options to start from all three certificate that i mentioned should be enough to understand the general cyber security i mean icip by opsword to understand the critical infrastructure cyber security uh comptia security plus to understand uh the basic concept of cyber security and of course to uh to understand or learn about various domains of cyber security uh certified in cyber security by as isc square is a good certificate to understand the business continuity disaster recovery and other topics you may also want to do some certifications such as ejpt by ine or former elearn security PNPT by TCM Academy or TCM Security or maybe you want to do OSCP by Offensive Security these certifications focus on penetration testing if you want to become a pen tester then do this otherwise you it is not required otherwise you can simply do the basic or foundation level certificates such as CompTIA um, Security Plus IC IP by Opsword and then you can choose the specialized certificate OSCP uh, PNPT these are the specialized penetration testing certificate maybe you don't want to become the pen tester maybe you want to become the expert developer then go and choose that specialized certification path or maybe you want to get into the policy so maybe you want to get the management related uh, certificate anyway so when you will be doing when you will be specializing you will definitely know what to do and which certificate to take step number 3 is to stay current and updated the cyber security industry is evolving so keep learning do not forget do not stop your learning do not stop your education keep on learning otherwise you will be obsolete and replaced soon follow some of your favorite blogs youtube channels uh podcast um, and you may also want to follow some great people on twitter and linkedin these are the rich sources of information 
you should keep reading about the trends in cyber security you should keep reading about the uh, various new or latest attacking vectors that the attackers are using or utilizing you should read about apt groups this all these things these skills will help you throughout your career consider you are giving an interview and you can talk about recent cyber security events um, you know recent attacks and you understand the threat landscape you know about the apt groups you know about all these fancy terms definitely you will sound knowledgeable you will sound professional and skillful this is what the recruiters seek so do not forget to network network and network on linkedin twitter facebook you know reddit and there are there are other platforms do not forget the forums there are several forums cyber security forums just search on google you'll get some good uh, platforms to interact with the relevant people and there are some great people as well to follow such as john gerald Tanya and many others to follow. Once you get into the cyber security community, you will know the good people. You will know the knowledgeable people whom you should follow to get your uh, recent updates, get your news from, or to understand the latest technologies and trends in cyber security from. Anyway, did I mention e-hacking? If not, then yes, of course, e-hacking. And of course, me. How can you forget me? Although there are some other things to do, such as creating the perfect cybersecurity resume or getting your first entry level cybersecurity jobs. There are tons of things to discuss. I, however, I, I'm not going to discuss all these things or all these steps in this video. Cybersecurity job hunting or cybersecurity job, job hunting techniques. Um, are a separate uh, discussion which i will definitely do but not in this video in some other video so uh, uh, for me the roadmap to get into cyber security is a three step formula foundational skills specialized skills and staying updated staying current and updated this way you will not only get into cyber security but you will stay and excel in your cyber security career best of luck and do not forget to share this video maybe like comment and subscribe of course and uh, that is it thank you thank you for your time take care